Magic knives out towards the ramp. Line is to be tested, and the first few bullets have gone awry. Space to stretch their legs as they descend. It'll be too lower. Like two members of the NIP squad here to try and connect some shots, and it seems they've changed their mind. Oh. Wait, that's the bomb loose. They have to pick that one back up. Luckily, it's around the corner there. That could have been the round done and dusted immediately, but into Linus's domain. Yeah, he's fallen back passive, and he's got so many chances. These Glocks can't seem to hit the mark. They are forcing the issue Whoa. into the CT yard. He's ready for action. Predicting the heaven position. Ramp has been cleared, and yeah, this one falling apart for the Movistar riders. It could be spotless, and I think it will be. Doesn't get better than that for the pajama ninjas. Wonderful stuff. But let's see, because unfortunately, what tends to happen when we make it to a third map decided one team stomps the other. Uh, let's see if we can get another game that goes the distance. Love to have a close affair all the way through. It's going to be a full economical round right here. And well, Plopsky, uh, they're a hut, mate. So Lucky Rez is here to save the day. He'll get three. Plopsky is the final frag. And on the low HP, Rez just wants to stay alive. Hampers to the rescue. And there you have it. Device will get the kill. 2-0, yep. uh, eternal fire, complexities in that mix. So, yeah, some, some decent scalps for the bonus round for NIP. Ampus hears him and eliminates Alex. Aggression. On the secret stairs, a great reaction out of Linus. He decides he's not going to contest. He'd rather have Device just confirm his suspicions with that scout. And in the blind spot, Mr. Mopoz has slipped. Oh, Linus hasn't cleared it. He doesn't know that yeah. they've gotten past. Dead man. And now a smoke. They have full ramp control. There's no info for the ninjas to be found here. Now, Plopsky's going to confirm lobby. That's great from death. Just his patience alone gives them the man advantage. They go back towards top now if they'd like. Hampus in the vent, not a place you ever want to find yourself here, but pressure towards ramp, smoke towards the single door. Mopos is in. Look Mopos being in is crazy. He's won the round. I'm Look calling it right it here. Go. Doesn't check his corner oh, and dear. does lead to his demise. Deaths, however, has already put his name twice oh, in the feed, and it will end. Uh, yeah, it's falling apart here. The I Spanish, they had such an advantage. And the door to swing open. Avi G to be cleared, evades the pre-fire, it's up to him and Hampus. A single flash for the fight, Hampus is swung on and he will secure it, the ninjas. Contention just means it's going to get a little bit more difficult. NIP obviously fighting against the other three big names for legend status. But they've been pushed, they've been tested. And Mopos, I love this, he's just so aggressive through the smokes, he's always fighting. Oh, oh Gordy, that's brave. Mopos really is just catching NIP relentlessly with his aggressive maneuvers. Death has got the secret rotate on lock. Mopos has got a good chance on this fight with Linus if... I need Davy smoke here. LNZ forces the issue. There's the utility drop. So left side of ramp denied. Molotov for the right. And we should be seeing a plant here. This is a big duel for Death. A oh. Oh, okay, well, at least he's alive. And he's got util to delay. Sun Pius to plant. Ninjas with a decision to make now. I think it's the four letter word of safe. And I know that doesn't seem likely against the pistols here, but think about how deeply rooted within that site the riders are, right? The post plants, there's so many positions to clear. I, I would have loved to have seen them go for it, but no, that is simple. Just with the Mopoz vent dive. Yeah, and can we all just take a moment to appreciate that Mopoz is doing all of the maneuvers that we think we're going to get away with? Yeah. You know, like everyone thinks they can just catch a timing through a banana smoke or drop down the vents behind the CT, but he truly just manifests it time and time again. Mopoz the elusive. Yeah. They shall be known from this day forward. In our mythical Movi realm. Yeah, well, I cannot believe the fact that... Looked like it was bad news for the Spaniards coming into this T side. A Tech 9, Kevlar Vest pulls them across the finish line. Now, it was a save from the Ninjas, so we, they've got everything they could possibly desire. Device dispatched to Yard, smoked off for now. Alex is going quick on this. He's into the warehouse. Now, the flash does really imply his presence. Oh. Yeah. Device. Who saw who? That's the question. I'm not Death's sure. Death's catch device or did device catch Death's? It looks like Death's nose. Hampus is quite an aggy one as well.
So the device will just cool his jets, drops a smoke, buy some time. Campus has fallen out of that as the smokes have faded. Now they are returning to this ramp room and it is only Linus once again. He's been great so far. Not today on this ramp room. Davy G eliminates him. Is it lower or is it more of a heaven crunch here? I think it's up to what Alex calls and also what he finds. Open runway towards heaven. They have to push lobby. Oh, and that's a tough one for deaths. Caught out, doesn't really get to pull the trigger. A single bullet whistles past Rez's ear. That's the whole squad here. Aggression again from Rez. Oh. Ink exchange, a hard one for Alex. Can't convert, and yeah, it's falling apart now for the riders. Running out of players, Davy G could change things. Needs that cleanly, doesn't quite find it. And with 10 seconds left, his body's dropped. Mopo's on the retreat. Oh. oh man, Device was not far off denying him everything. He opts to the T-Roof to save. Like, uh, incredibly passive, like T-Roof 90% yeah. of the time, just using that as his vantage point for info and willingly giving it up when they don't need it. Ooh, Hampus not able to get that incendiary out in time to disrupt the smoke wall here, so they will get it as intended right now. And Alex, well, he doesn't have a kill, but the space is everything here as the L-Block smokes are up. Will make his way across into that warehouse, and it's actually down secret where he chooses to push. And he's just going to park himself there because on the other side is Device, just down in the depths. The rest of the team again. Passive in lobby. Death's making sure that there's no push from behind. And Mopos, well, looks like he gets any liberty he wants here. Aggressive in hut. Nobody's going to cross his line of sight right now. Rez is already aware of a potential for a ladder flank as well, so NIP know what could be coming their way, but I think it will be lion share through the lobby. Spots just a slither of Sun Pius. Being swung on, Davy G delivers. Hampus keeps it level, but it's this fight. That one right there. Mopos, his patience in huts rewarded. Hampus looks the wrong way, averts his gaze and catches some bullets. That should be the second. Should, being the operative word. Bomb now down. Linus still in yard. Device was responsible for secret. And you can, you know, I think oh. the uh, content you, you did with uh, Copenhagen Flames, just a good idea, a good example of just that decision making and also prime evidence of how much the players left, like the, the actual names plays into the uh, under information gathering. Yeah. That, They're that's... like, we know he plays X, we know he plays Y. It's a big part of where the uh, the insights and the information comes from. That was a fun little thing to do. Like, Roy was great with that, right? Uh, I sat him down. I said, Roy, we're going to review a demo. We'll do the new game where you had a good match. Uh, do you want to talk us through some stuff? And we didn't get a chance to do a lot, uh, but he just he just took the ball by the horns there. He was great. So big shout out to... Keys are out. I hope this is something to come, right, with the other underdog teams within the group because it's showing that they weren't just one-map wonders, which is really cool, right? It's really cool for that narrative to at least be able to show a competitive face here. It isn't the four spy out of NIP. They've just upgraded in some light pistols behind Rez and Plopsky. Device, Hampus, and Linus. Oh, they've got something a little bit tastier. Ooh, Hampus gets a little bit of info from the credit card position. This game has a different pace about it, doesn't it? It's not like the Inferno or the Ancient, where things were maybe a lot more sporadic. Territory is being taken quicker. This is more like a, a game of chess and not one of those speedy games of chess with the clock you keep seeing them hit. This one is going to take its time. So really playing the puzzle of Counter-Strike right now with the riders. Pushing NIP around. Both teams left guessing in a lot of scenarios. Usually going to come down to these last 45 to 30 seconds when the hits come in. Good flashes to get DVG out. The site could have got messy for a second, but there you see it. Flurry of three. Leaves the save once again, looking like the very best option. <laughs> he hates to do this on the CT side, right? But uh, what other choice do you have here? It's going to be one round in it now. And same position taken again by Linus. LNZ, he wants to be caught. I got to get out of that bad habit. But some aggression might need to uh, come on out here from the ninjas, right? In the next CT round, we might see them actually want to go for some yard control. Maybe even elevate device on top of the warehouse. We do see players playing on top near that little aircon vent. 
uh, get Hampus up close and personal towards the red box, maybe tucked in towards the other side of main. They need to do something just because right now they're void of information in a lot of these rounds. The smoke wall comes down. They don't know if they've crossed. They don't know if they've lost. The further away from the minimap I am. Oh, OK. That's my issue. Um, my eyes are just degrading daily. Something about the 12 hours of screen time, I reckon. I went and had mine tested the other day, not yeah. because I wanted Did to, you nail it? because I have something in my eye or an eye infection, one of the two, and I nailed it. I smashed it. Well, here's the change up, right? So there's no more lurky boy maneuvers through the smoke. They're actually getting across towards secret. They need to start running now into Hampus. He may have heard the lick of the flame. Yeah, I suspect he may have. <laughs> LVG, frustration visible as he wiggles his mouse, and they do just send. No, in so much utility, though, Alex. Initial resistance is light, yeah, and Hampus, he's not even actually equipped with the uh, reactionary smoke. He actually just wants to stand and fight, it looked like. I think maybe he's just expecting Alex to cross, right? Because it has just been a one-man band outside so far. Yeah, well, so far, they're not making any indication that it's more. Ooh, bit early on yeah, that. Yeah, and that's some info. They're well ahead of the smoke. Spots more than one. Great control. Eliminates Alex. Reposition imminent. And two man to the good for Nip. Marpos. Here he is again. Here he is again. And he's going to kill Linus yeah. again, isn't he? Side of the head. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. He hasn't even cleared it. Mopos slips behind enemy lines. Device completely booked. Oof. In the meantime, Sun Pius has gone down. Plopsky caught on the rotations. They're making a round out of this, Chad, but with 20 seconds left, where is that bomb? They need it now, and all the way away from looking. downtown. No one catches him. Linus now stuck between the rock and the hard place. Does defend his honor. Mopos needs the frag, needs to scoop up that bomb. You got 10 seconds, bro. You got to clear dark. It's going to be super light on time. What's he going? He has to find the frag. Oh, he might. He might. If he cleared Ooh. the vent, Rez is in there. Oh, just shy on time. He'll live on. Good damage. Really yeah. sure, but still, the positioning is, was fantastic. Now, the buy. It's not great for NIP, is it? Oh, and Hampus is just tucked in. Now, they're surely going to be anticipating this. They will now. Reveals himself. Oh! They line up for him. Device and Hampus combine for an earth-shattering four kills. Nothing left other than Mopos. And the round has just begun. He's already had his wings clipped. Device. Or was it Hampus, actually, with that recovered AWP? And they're playing the ninjas. They just recover with a really plain one. Yeah, so uh, this is where they need to make sure it's still threatening. This is a top heart molly. Maybe it's quicker. Yeah, it's certainly going to apply that. Reds with a quick cancel. Has to adjust. Oh, he's stuck, he's is stuck, he's stuck. All bang through. He'd love to escape, trying to get down the vents. I can't believe he's gotten away, at least to this point. His presence alone is a component of this assault. It'll get Hampus tucked in tight. They're going for a late wall. So they're going to go for the secret cross Yo, here. There's a, Mopos is going to be coming in from the other side as the wall of smoke's dropped. I wonder if he walks through it to try and find Device. Well, he has to take a risk, right? Being I mean, on that HP, being, being alive is good, but... He's confirmed that there's no, you know, Hampus funny business as there was last round. But here they come. Body blocked. The smoke. Body blocked. Bye. Oh! Goodbye. Rez is the one to go down. He took a chunk out of them, but... This can go anywhere. This can go anyway. Mopos still with a low HP contribute. That's his 10th. He is not giving this one up. Kicking and screaming his way to a potential fourth down the vents. Now it is all just fakey boys around the world. Sun Pyre swinging open the door. Hampus is in a prime position to ruin their day. Oh. Will they check him? The answer is no. And hard to spot now as Linus will put another one down range. So close to success yet so far. I haven't seen much in the clutch department from Deaths, and he's only got 47 points of health and 20 seconds. It doesn't even look like he may give it a look in. Oh, the Galil, it could be brutal. If he goes up towards Yard, maybe get Device's AWP. Oh, I hate, don't hate that. Yeah, consider what options are around here, but lingering towards the lower side might just have to hide in this uh, double door area. I thought you were going to say plain sight. No, I, I, <laughs> I, I figured that would have sounded a bit silly. Yeah. Well, the orb has been recovered, but this time... Careful here, because they have to save Galil, and for death, the loss bonus in the next round is not going to be ideal. They have a couple of smokes again, so as long as you have the three smokes, you can always do a smoke wall of some variety late. And if you can find a pick early, then you're really working with something. So lobby presence shown, smoke's being lined up again. That's more of the same here.
Hevers might just stand and fight, you know. Yeah, I suspect he will. He's got the support of Util of his team as well. Device will strike. Tampus with his name in the feed. Good nade. Holding chain. That's gone, and Hampus just cleans up. Sweeps him under the rug. Nothing left but Sun Pires flashed off and spotted. The swing from Hampus, the clear, imminent, the headshot. Only able to get the Tech 9 out, but if they go a little bit quicker, if he's able to get across, Tech 9 starts to become more viable in the lower corridors. Oh, Mopos has really come to play today, apparently. Is he even ready for that? Damage done through. Device scampering on back tail between his legs. And it wouldn't surprise me if Mopos just pushes through this hot smoke, Alex. It would not surprise me at all if it's he just favorite. starts to creep on in. It's his favorite. Maybe he'll get that blind spot. Actually, Plopsky's position now does have that blind spot. Could be filled by Heaven. Actually dropping into the site. Rez has done that. And just as it fades, Mopos is caught. So Cheeky Beaky doesn't get him anywhere. Linus again, good for it on the ramp position. Alex is up to no good, though. There's a notable gap in the defense. Res knowingly committing to that low site has left it open and will acknowledge its potential. Now he's combined with Vigi and Plopsky's aggression met with lead. More required. Res is holding you. Oh, oh, he just looked away. A small window of opportunity. Slips by the wayside. Davi G looking to clutch up. He's already posted two. Two more remain. And it's about 30 seconds. Now he knows Linus is that ramp player. Let's see. Ready. Again, we're just down to a half by. Fast this time. Squeaky's blown open. They're actually going to try and get on out. They've extinguished and the flashes are going to follow. Okay, well, if they can find this Rafter player, which they have, there is a real room to set up a potent after plan. They've still got three smokes, Chad. They can re-smoke main, smoke off the heaven position, and make this a sketchy retake. One way dropped. That could be a good sign to drop some util of your own towards the heaven position, because they're going to come straight through it. Flash is set up. They're coming. Quick on this. Linus into the site. They ate it. Mopos. Doing the smoke. Wallowed the flash. They're running out of players here. The Movistar Riders falling at every hurdle. And it's over. NIP straight into the site, barely sweat on the brow as they post their tent. 12-3, oh, then that might be the drubbing that we were talking about. Here we go again, smoke wall. Not going to be deployed immediately, just a lurk smoke for Alex to play around. Up and over, seeing if any aggression from NIP is warranted. And here comes the L block. Oh, they missed it. They missed the L block. Bitter pill for Alex to swallow. He has to watch now as his team tries to overcome the disadvantage. Res, good reaction. Device this time dispatched and very aggressive in from Sun Pius. Looking a bit shaken now are the riders. Yeah, the moves that were brilliant before are now starting to look a little bit desperate. Mopos again, the only name we've been saying with consistency here on this T-half. Yeah, he's given them something to hold on to. And if Hampus's aggression is anticipated, perhaps... An equalizer to be found. Oh, <laughs> God, Mopos screaming at his team. Yard aggressive. You've got 10 HP, Mopos, and you're still the one to step up for the fight. He doesn't quite get it this time. And Davi G, in the meantime, has been humbled. Oosh. Deaths. To try and post a fourth here on the T. Just four kills. Only. Just four. Just a 1v4 with 30 seconds left. Nice and Double of your half total. Yeah, you know, it should be easy, right? Well, if he goes down secret, there's already a player rumbling down there. Hampus is already locked on in. He has an open runway. We'll be able to get down towards the bomb site. But if he goes to plant, should be denied. And uh, all in all, I think he's just going to save the AK here. So this one is uh, collapsed. It's definitely collapsed. Couldn't hold on to the momentum. They played two really good maps to counter. This is what I was going to. They broke down that light pistol round that they won on Ancient, right? They were able to pick up on Ancient, and that one it could be haunting them because yeah. that may have been the difference maker. But here we go, Davy G. He's across. He's down. Oh, a device. He did spot a player top of silo there. Res ready, and unloads. Look at our easy for that one. Mopos, the only hero. Someone else needs to step up now. Davy G. Could be that man, could be the key word. Device, what is that you're equipping? Hmm? 
Uh, I think that is called uh, in the business the uh, doom hammer. For all not present today. Maybe LNC will clean up and another double. When they come a knocking, he's quick to dispel them. Okay, well, it's definitely 12 3, guys. I'm sorry. You don't remember the uh, Alex 1v4? Is that because it's your name? We want to pull that one back out? <laughs> Crack open the coffin? I thought, so we get that I one thought back it was out. forbidden, but I don't know. I think it is, you know, <laughs> like the, the Cadian one. Did retire it. It retired yeah. the format. It retired itself. <laughs> yeah, it did. Chooses to take the engagement. Bomb scooped up, but that's Rez. Wetting. No more scowls. Four Kevlar vests. Linus going to throw out the smoke and flash. They are heading towards Yard and Device equipped with that uh, potent duo in the pistols. You put your sharpest tool in the shed with that armored P250. We see how well it works time and time again, especially for those long-range engagements. Wow. First one out of the USP from Sun Pius is potent. I love this little lurk smoke, but it... Oh. Hasn't gotten them anything. <laughs> that is huge, Sun Pius. Yeah, that is everything and more. He's just found more kills in this pistol than he did in the whole first half. That was some beautiful little clicks with the USP and Hampers. Back turned, bottom spanked, and... Well, he's dead too. Mopos with the P2K is going to get Alex all excited. And now it's Linus in a one-on-five. The bomb on his back. They know where he is. Yeah, he's very, very loud about this. He's making no secret, trying to play funny games. And there is multiple targets in front of him. Leaps into Sun Pius and humbles him. But the no armor, 20 HP, 1v4. That confirms our suspicions. Fourth. The smoke's in play and towards Yard we go. Hampus looking to find space again. He loves to be quick here. Sun Pius has gone straight into the org, which will be effective at containing Yard. Hamper's so quick into main. I don't think Mopos is ready for that, and he doesn't really know where he's gone down to. There's a lot more. And spotted another. Oh, no, and the Deagle's connected. That's two big players out of the round. The Riders got to get some damage control. Got to get some map control, because they've lost Heaven so early into the piece. Look at Hampers. He's got so much time. And Deaths needs this cleanly. That's the bomb delivered to him on a silver platter. Multiple targets. Deaths under scrutiny. Two of the three converted. Maybe they can recover. Don't forget, an orc has fallen into enemy hands. Sun Pius's investment now finds him wielded by Plobski. Oh, Plobski has a smoke right now as well as this orc. If he picks up the bomb in main and smokes off towards Squeaky, he can completely eliminate Davy G from the conversation here. Then the problem all becomes about where is Alex and where is he coming from? Hampus has dropped in towards the site. The bomb going to be scooped up now, but swings and roundabouts as the heaven position will be a problem. If they're both going to drop down the vent, that would be genius. Yeah, I think Davidji's actually going to be considering that silently. And so there'll be time for them to set this up. The door swings open. That's the cue. The rotation will be ramped for Alex, and he's got so much util. Hampus goes checking. Good find from Davy G. The clutch established. Plopsky, though, he has a perfect weapon for the job. This is the utility from Alex. Playing it as a unit, playing it as a squad. Plopsky threatening. Low HP. Okay. Relief for Movi Star Riders, but they came into that armored to the teeth, geared with everything they could desire, and the conversion of the pistol was labored. The force, well, it's not a complete force. There's a little bit of cash left over on Rez and Device. Even 750 right now for Linus, but there's two AKs and a scout out to yeah, play. Linus was a vending machine for Deva here. Be careful, Alex. This is, this is a cheeky one where you've only got an MP9, and well, it's good for one. Dinked, and he's hanging around. Yeah, I think that was just to avoid the spray of LNC. Perhaps. Oh, never mind. Actually, straight through the box. Straight through the box. St. Pius gets another bite with his orb. Oh, but Davy G in jeopardy and device. Oh, a miss. They, they're scared now. Strafing in, they take the fight together. It's Linus again that maintains the advantage and they're losing players left and right. They know where at least one other player is, right? Mopos was in main. But he's pushing hot right now. He's staying very, very active. Hampus is looking the wrong way. He's about to get pants to the Deagle spotted. Mopos with more impact and he even is able to slink back into the top site. Red's work in heaven. Mopos is so aware. He knows what's up. Great read of the game so far from the Spaniard. 
He's so active. Yeah. He's going to go all the way outside around to lobby. No joke. No joke. And while Rez just chills up heaven, Linus needs to clear lobby on his lonesome. It could be anywhere. Trophy, hut. Certainly not going to be the tip of Linus's tongue that he's coming in behind him. It depends. It almost entirely hinges on how long it takes LNZ to progress into the site. So he is in now. And planting for Rez in heaven. This is going to be such a hard one to break. Death could even get spotted if Rez takes a glance outside. Oh, the riders. Four. And Death's up the vent with a no-kit retake. I don't fancy his chances, and neither does he. Oh, he has to save. And the fact that they're able to lose the pistol, have a real threatening force bite, and then drop a couple of AKs, and then do this, it just shows you which way we're headed for this one here. That comeback, it was integral that you convert rounds like this. I know it's still scary. I know it's NIP, but these are the ones that you need to be getting done. And well, they will lose the round. They will only get that 1,400 loss bonus into the bank balance. There's going to be a, a bit more of a buy coming on in. This is everything right now for the Spaniards. They lose this. Oh, they practically lose the game. Hampus gets to throw three flashes now, courtesy of LNZ. Heaven to be smoked. Sight Molly is well behind the bomb box, so this is going to be overwhelming. And a barrage of flashes to follow. Look at Death. Look at his vision and ours as well. And so we see already a 3v3 established. Looks like some Pius' scout was good for it. Welcome to our slideshow. And jumping into the site, he falls. Res, comfortable. Bomb ticking. And what are they supposed to do about this? The 14th? I think just really start to marinate in their own juices here, right? Yeah. Understand exactly just that this one has not gone the way it wanted to. And this was what we said within the first three rounds of this game. You know, what tends to happen in these matchups is the first two absolute bangers and the third one just simmers out. It just simmers out. And it's a shame because it, it, this has been a great series, right? I, I only have positive things to say about the Movistar Riders here today. It's also been great to see NIP pushed. I get to see more from their individuals, them having to go through the strap book. They were pulling out pocket strategy. Good work, you know, by beating Heroic in the tiebreakers, beating Sinners in the tiebreakers, and of course, beating Sinners in that full best of one as well. It was how they got themselves into this position, and it's not over. Even if these last two rounds do go the ninja's way. Getting it flashed on through here by the looks. Going for it, yeah. Alex caught. Where was the flash? Sampaio second guessed it. He goes in dry. Hampus collector. Easy double. Make it a triple as he taps at the head of Sun Pius. And yeah, just falling short of the mark here are the Movistar Riders flustered and fragged. That's head on a swivel. Costs him his life as well. A clean finish coming in here from the ninjas. Top site called clear. Dava G hoping to catch something towards this hell position. Uh, it doesn't get better from here, guys. For the final round of play, 2,400, that's all they have left. Davi G could maybe get an AK and save it, but that's the best he can hope for. There's the first of five, and there's that AK to save, but they know exactly where he is, and no matter where he wants to run, no matter where he wants to hide, they're coming for him. LNZ gets it done, 16 for him now, and just one more round. And if you want but there it is again, the 2400 <laughs> doesn't go very far. Not in game or in life at the moment. I think it gets you about two beers in Sweden. <laughs> and half a train ticket. Yeah, jeez Louise. Yeah, Lander Express. Oh, yeah. I think it takes you to bloody Hogwarts or something, <laughs> don't you? I've never quite seen something so expensive as a double gin and tonic in Sweden. <laughs> so, three more bodies on the Marvy Star Riders squad. And I'd be having a field day to clean house here. 16 to 5, going to be the final score. Rez confirms our suspicions. Davaji still kicking up a fuss, and Linus, no issues onto the death's aggress. NIP, by securing this, a step closer to that legend status.